have this silk shirt which was part of a set I bought a few years ago. The navy version of it I wear all the time but the white version I just don't like. I feel like it washes me out and I was really tempted to dye it black but before I do that I'm going to see if I can dye it just with things that I have in the kitchen. A few weeks ago my husband got some avocados as a treat for himself and as much as I hate eating them I found out that the skins and the stones are very good as a natural dye so I saved them, cleaned off the flesh and I kept them in the freezer while I was waiting for them to be used up until I had them all ready to use to try and dye the shirt. Starting this off, I made mistake after mistake. I used a pot that was way too small and then when I was referencing the dye books that I had, I found out that I just didn't have enough avocados. I think I had two avocados and I needed closer to eight. So I decided to experiment. Actually, I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't be doing, uh, but one of the colors I really like are the kind of colors you can get with onion skins. We have a ton of onions that I need to use up. So I'm actually gonna put them in there with avocados. This is probably a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. At that point, the avocado skins had been in warm water. I didn't let it boil. That was one of the things that they said that I shouldn't do because you can end up getting more of a brown color instead of that salmon color that I was looking for. I moved it into a larger pot and then put all the onion skins that I could. And that's when I started to get this beautiful golden color that was just, had a very slight pink undertone. And I kept this on a very, very, very low heat all day until I was pretty happy with the color. I took it out of the pots, tried to wring out all the water, or at least as much of it as I could, and then I hung it up to dry. I wanted to see what color it was going to be the morning afterwards once it had dried. And at first it was quite a lot darker than the color that it ended up being. But once I'd left it overnight, it turned out into the most perfect color. The color I had previously, I did not like, obviously, but this was just perfect. It had a slight pink undertone, but this kind of golden peach. I wanted to make sure that the color wasn't going to wash out so I threw it in the wash with vinegar just to make sure that the color wasn't going to wash out in subsequent washes and this is what it looked like afterwards. It's not a huge difference compared to what it was previously but I love it. I've been wearing it so much more since I did this and if I get bored of it I can always dye it black. And as usual, if you like my videos and want to see more content, feel free to follow me on the mailing list. That way you get everything sent directly to your email and I'll have a new video for you soon.